bracket time! On the eve of the beginning of the 2017 Stanley Cup playoffs, I am going to choose my bracket, and if it sucks, well, so does yours. Let's start over in the East. For some reason, the series I'm most confident in is the Montreal Canadiens beating the New York Rangers. This is hard, I'm not left-handed. There we go. Since March 1st, the Montreal Canadiens have been the hottest team in the Eastern Conference. The Rangers, one of the coldest. I just think Claude Julien has really changed that team. I like Alain Vigneault as a coach. I like the Rangers. They got some really good players. They're a really good team. I just see the Montreal Canadiens having the advantage. Plus, Carey Price. But there is an asterisk, and there is always an asterisk in every series, injuries. So on that note, and one final note about that series, Chris Kreider still exists. We move on to the second and third seed in the Atlantic. The Ottawa Senators taking on the Boston Bruins. This one's hard because it's two teams that kind of had to limp into the playoffs. The Senators have a lot of guys on their back end who are either out with injury or playing injured, whereas the Boston Bruins have a lot of guys on their back end who are either out injured or playing injured. Now, I want to pick Boston in this one because I think they're just a little bit more experienced. Brad Marchand's had a great season. Patrice Bergeron, Zdeno Chara is still a very big man, although it, uh, an old man. Boston was better down the stretch, so I am going to say the Boston Bruins beat the Ottawa Senators. Asterisk, Craig Anderson has the ability to do the unthinkable. Now we move on to Washington, Toronto. Oh, the Leafs fan is going to pick the Leafs. Let's get this out of the way right away. I'm picking the Caps. Do I even need to explain why? It doesn't even necessarily have anything to do with the Leafs. Ovechkin, Backstrom, they got Shattenkirk. Braden Holtby is one of the best goalies to have not won a cup yet of all time. Plus, the Leafs have been an incredibly healthy team throughout the season. Nine players played 82 games. William Nylander only missed one. They almost had 10 perfect seasons, and now Nikita Zaitsev is out game one. That hurts. That being said, these are the Stanley Cup playoffs where silly happens, and anything can happen. The Leafs are here for a reason. Oh, the Leafs are going to get swept. They can't even beat the Capitals, except for they beat the Capitals this season. The season series, the Leafs were 1-1-1. One, one, and, one. and in the two games that Braden Holtby played, the Leafs scored seven goals against him in four periods of play. He actually got yanked in the second game. So I do think it'll take him six games, but the Capitals will ultimately get the victory. Pittsburgh Columbus is one of the hardest in all the playoffs to call. You got the reigning Stanley Cup champions taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets, who I don't think a lot of you had in the playoffs this season, but they've been feisty, nasty. Sergei Bobrovsky has been an incredible goaltender, and the Penguins are battling injuries. What else is new? They still got Crosby, still got Malkin, still got Kessel. They're still a great team. Matt Murray has done it. But missing Chris Letang and the damage done to their back end, that's not nothing. I think it's going to be a bloodbath, but I still have the Pittsburgh Penguins coming out on top. Over in the West, he's still got a bunch of tough series. You got 100 points score Connor McDavid and the high-flying Edmonton Oilers taking on last year's Stanley Cup finalist, the San Jose Sharks. Now, because of playoff experience and how young the Oilers are, I'm going to give this to the Sharks. This isn't even a diss against the Edmonton Oilers. It's just that young teams, when they make the playoffs, they tend to have to get beat up in their first year. Asterisk here, if the Sharks can't get Joe Thornton and Logan Couture up to 100% health, Connor McDavid might eat them alive. Anaheim, Calgary, I think the whole hockey world wanted a battle of Alberta in this one, especially Calgary Flames fans, because now they have to exercise some old demons against the Ducks. They cannot seem to win in Anaheim. For that reason and for all the experience they have, I'm going to give this one to the Anaheim Ducks, but I think it's going to be a seven-game bloodbath. And if Calgary wins, I'm not even going to feel bad for picking the Ducks because I think regardless of who wins, it's going to be a tight series. I can't see this going less than six games. Now we have Minnesota and St. Louis. Minnesota is for some reason written in red. I'm not sure why I did that. Better. Now about a month ago or so, I would have said Devin Dubnik and the Minnesota Wild are going to at least the Western Conference Final, probably the Stanley Cup Final, and they're going to have a great time doing it. Now I look at how badly they've struggled. The demons Bruce Boudreaux seems to have in the playoffs. The difference Mike Yo seems to have made in St. Louis. Jake Allen returning to form. You know what, guys? I gotta take the St. Louis Blues over the Minnesota Wild. Asterisk, if Devin Dubnik returns to form, get ready for a lot of games to go into quadruple overtime tied 1-1. Now, what's the point of even doing a playoff bracket if you're not gonna pick one particularly stupid-sounding upset? You thought that was St. Louis over Minnesota? Nope, I got Nashville beating Chicago, baby, yeah! Look, I don't even feel awesome about this one. I think it's gonna go long. I think it's gonna be at least six games. 
for some reason, Nashville's just calling to me. Chicago still has their big guys. They got their core, who they've won three cups with. But those young guys they have filling out the rest of the roster, which Chicago has done a very good job with over the last half decade, I just think Nashville finds a way to pick them apart. Back in the East, Montreal-Boston. I got Montreal coming out on top on that one. Again, they've just been so good since Julian's come on board. Carey Price is just a fantastic goaltender in this league. Arguably the best goalie in the world. Boston's already got injuries going into the playoffs. I can only imagine what they're going to be by the time they hit round two. Asterisk, crazy things happen when these two play each other. And you know what? For very similar reasons, I have the Washington Capitals beating the Pittsburgh Penguins in round two. Same thing, Pittsburgh's already going into it beat up. I mean, there's a chance they maybe get healthier. They're still not getting Latang back. And the Capitals just look so good this year. Their goaltending is so good. But crazy things happen when these two play each other. How bad do you think Ovechkin wants this one? Similar reasons again in the West. Injuries just have a way of evening things out. I think the Anaheim Ducks beat the San Jose Sharks. They're going in beat up already. How are they going to be by round two? But again, I don't think it's a walk. I think Anaheim's going to have to fight tooth and nail to get to the Western Conference Final. And then there are some times in your bracket you just got to look and go, ah, uh, I, I don't know. Nashville, St. Louis, I have no clue. Uh, Nashville, since I'm holding the orange marker. The interesting thing for me is one team always seems to have to rely on their backup goalie at some point during the playoffs, and the Predators might be the team best equipped to do it. UC Soros has been an incredible rookie. Eastern Conference Final, Montreal, Washington. I think Carey Price is going to try to do his best Yaroslav Halak impression. Irony, but the Washington Capitals will ultimately come out on top. Guys, they just look too good this year. Nashville, Anaheim, that's another tough one to call because they're two teams very deep on defense. I went with my gut to get Nashville this far, but I gotta go with my gut and say Anaheim is going to beat them in the Western Conference Final. And now here we are in the Stanley Cup Final, the Washington Capitals take on the Anaheim Ducks. Who do you got? Now regardless of who you pick, whether you say Anaheim or Washington, just remember your prediction is based on what their rosters are right now. By the time we get to the Stanley Cup Final, both the Capitals and Ducks will have been through about two months of war. Ultimately, I have the Washington Capitals taking home Lord Stanley's Cup for the very first time. This is how I feel the 2017 Stanley Cup playoffs will go today, but June has a habit of creating April Fools. Here's a more clean look at my bracket on NHL.com. Again, I, I know it's wrong. I know it is. So is yours. Almost everybody's is. Let me know what you think. It's hard to pick a winner. 16 teams go into the playoffs, and only one gets to sip champagne at the end of it. Who's it going to be?